this vlog you have probably already read the title meaning you probably already know what this vlog is about but I'm gonna say it anyway because otherwise I feel like I'm just like rushing you guys into it without really knowing also I am sitting in the middle of a park in Melbourne there are a lot of people around there is a parking inspector who is currently watching me there is a woman walking her dog who is currently watching me there's someone behind me but that's fine we're gonna roll with it I will never see these people again so it's fine today we are going to go and see fleet with Mac I got my dad tickets for his birthday and I am so 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 excited about it I got these tickets like in September last year maybe and I am so excited about it. The Chain is the first song that they're playing and if y'all think I'm not going to go off, you don't know me well enough, clearly. <laughs> Literally cannot wait, I am so excited. Oh my God, I am so excited. I have been obsessed with Stevie Nicks for so long. I don't remember when I first heard about it, maybe like on Tumblr like a like long time ago and I was just obsessed with her voice and her style and the way she spoke and ever since that I've seen her like growing up her voice kind of like revolved my style around here. Thank you Train for ruining this talk. Oh wait. Anyway, growing up I've always like revolved my style around her, like I've always loved the way that she dresses and the way that she has her hair and her makeup and stuff, I've always kind of like revolved that around her, but I never was really a big Fleetwood Mac fan until maybe three years ago, and then obviously Harry sang The Chain at his concerts, and then I was like, oh this is a vibe, and then I got really into them after that, and I was like, this is impeccable. So yes, I'm very excited, I cannot wait, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go and meet my dad at his office and um, we have a couple of hours and then we're gonna go and leave for Fleetwood Mac and I'm so excited! All right, bye. Hi, so I just found a really cool backdrop. The last time I gave me an outfit photo, I didn't have all my little like knickknacks on and this is like a snazzy little like background. So um, let's just do a really low key OOTD and hopefully no one comes in because that would be mildly embarrassing. Let's go. This is from Topshop, maybe, but maybe Urban Outfitters, I don't remember. These are from Glue, but they're Wrangler brands. These are my horse riding boots. I got this for my birthday. These are from La Visa. This is from Cotton On. Face is from my mum and dad. Guys, I've never been to Lord of the Fries before because I've never had the opportunity, but it's here. And this is the first time in my life where I'm like, you know what, actually, I'm kind of okay with like, unhealthy food and it's vegan and let's go. I have never been to Lord of the Fries before ever. I keep seeing it and everyone keeps ranting about it and raving about it and I haven't gone partially because I've slept with none where I live but also because I know it's like junk food even though it's like vegan junk food it's still junk food and I've always been really scared about that. I'm not now and I'm like heck yeah like I've got this opportunity let's freaking do it so I just got a chicken burger and chips and I'm really excited because I haven't had a chicken burger in years and I'm really excited about it. Diet culture can suck my big toe. That burger, impeccable. I can't believe I spent so long of my life being scared of them. <laughs> Bro, there are so many options. How do I even just choose one? Okay, update. I couldn't just choose one, so I got three. My bank account is crying, but I'm happy. That's what matters. <laughs>
seeming, seemingly in this rather strange, strange world we may, may be living in. Who's to say? But remember always to be so very kind to one another, and we love you so very, very much. beautiful creature I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, how is she real? Mick Fleetwood, I want to be him when I grow up. That entire show was incredible. Dead set, the second the chain came on, gone. I was gone. How is she 71 years old? Like, how is he 76 years old? That's nuts. The concert was incredible, it was amazing. The songs were so good. When they sang Don't Dream It's Over, Everyone was singing along and like holding each other and there was like lights going on. It was so beautiful. Landslide, oh my gosh, incredible. Don't stop, amazing. Free Falling, oh my god. Free Falling was so good. Free Falling has been one of my favorite songs for the longest time. It's like since I was like 10, it's been like one of my favorite songs and I've never heard it live before. And it was so good. Um, yeah, it was good. I got merch. I got this. How nice is it? It's my new favorite t-shirt. Um, I told myself I wasn't buying any merch because I need to save all of my money for America. But um, not only did I buy a little bit of merch, I bought three pieces and I'm going to show you. So I bought this and I got this in a size extra large so I can wear it with like thigh high socks and like my Doc Martens and like do a little like vintage dress look with it. And then I also got the tour book. How ethereal is she? Is she not the most ethereal creature you've ever seen? It was really stellar. It was a really cracker of a night. It's one o'clock in the morning now and I am so tired. So I'm going to go to bed because I'm knackered. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Anyway, look after yourselves, be kind to yourselves and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Just be